It's me, Dibi Raimazi from BBC IELTS Centre Batool. If you want to get the best IELTS score, I would like you to visit my YouTube channel to get a lot of information regarding IELTS test preparation. Please do visit my channel. Fine, thank you. This is IELTS speaking test taking place at BBC IELTS Center, Butuol, Milancho. My name is Divi Raimansi. Uh, could you please tell me your full name? My full name is Tolkumari Guru. You can simply call with my first name Tolkumari. Tolkumari? Yes. Sir. Okay. And where do you come from? I live in a small village from Butuol with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you a student or you work? Uh, actually, I'm, I just finished my college okay. and recently I'm not working. Oh, you are just a student? Yes. Yeah. So what subject uh, do you like the most? I usually like science subject as it is my field and I like the biology the most. Oh, good. May I see your identification, please? Yes, sir. This is my passport which I use to register this test. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Now in this part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. First, I want to ask you some questions about your future. Okay, sir. Are you worried about your future? Uh, well, yes, sir. Everyone is worried. Yeah. You are. Yeah. So, so what do you want to do in the future? Uh, actually, sir, I want to do something in my field in biology, mm -hmm. uh, as I want to study for child care mm -hmm. in foreign. I would probably do the same work. Okay, that's good. Okay, what job would you like to have, you know, 10 years from now? Frankly speaking, I haven't uh, thought about it uh, frequently, but I think I would do something like a child educator or something related to child. Mm -hmm, that's good. How useful will English be for your future? Uh, well, and why? Well, English is an international language. Uh, as I am uh, going to study or planning to study in foreign, it is the most uh, uh, usable language which I, I use to communicate in with other people. Uh, so, in my career, uh, speaking with uh, people with different nationalities and different uh, varieties, I think is English is the most important one. Okay. Do you like traveling? Uh, I don't think so. I love traveling because I am sick to it. Is it so? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. How much traveling do you hope to do in the future? Uh, Frankly speaking, as a child, I was not fond of, but now, due to my work and my different uh, jobs, I, I am frequently traveling, and I would love to travel in different countries, uh, looking, at, looking about my health issues and the opportunity I get in future. Okay, so, do you think your life will change in the future? Yeah, hoping for the best. I think I will do my best to change my life. So how do you think your life will change in the future? Why? Why not? Uh, actually, I am planning to study. Then I think my study will be related with my career and uh, my, my career goals uh, are clear. So I want to do as planned. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll be making a lot of money in the future? Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, uh, thank you. Now, in this part of the test, I'm yes, going sir. to give you a topic, okay? Okay, sir. So, what you have to do is, you have to prepare a short speech, okay? This is a PPS session, plan, prepare, and speak, okay? So when you prepare a short speech, make sure that your speech answers all the follow-up questions. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Yeah, this is your topic. 
and I give you a small piece of paper. Now you can make notes if you like. Please prepare a short speech. Okay, now uh, your time starts. Okay, thank you. Now you can start your speech, please. Uh, uh, I, well, I am fond of reading books. Uh, I usually read many novels. Uh, recently, I had uh, read a novel uh, which the name was Seto uh, Dharti, given by, um, given by uh, Suman Adhikari. He is a great uh, writer. Uh, the novel is about uh, a child widow who has um, who uh, who was uh, forced to be married in a young age of twelve and become a widow at the age of fourteen without knowing his her um, husband and the belonging. And she was she was very uh, injustice in the society. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a very bad. Um, superstition that uh, the child widow should not marry anymore or she should not be in the any good tradition or any costume related. She was kept away from different good, in different good pujas and others. I think, I think that um, reading this book made me uh, feel that Nepal was and is a very superstitious country where many superstitious beliefs are uh, ruling over um, over and many girls, uh, especially women, are being uh, terrifyingly terrifying. Uh, many and there are many other topic in this uh, book, such as uh, the the love she when she was in youth, but she didn't. Uh, completely forgot about it or she didn't marry the person because of the society. So I would, I think that the uh, the now society and the before society have changed a lot and now the there is the place for the women where they can keep their voice, where they can have their own rights. Uh, so the society before was um, very uh, injustice for the women, well, the, now it has been changing gradually, which is the positive aspect of the society, and I think it will bring a huge change. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now in this part of the test, uh, we're going to discuss some topics. Okay. The topics are related to part two. First, we're going to discuss about children and uh, reading. Okay, do you like children? Yeah, I like children. Why do you like children? Because they are so cute and they are very pure and innocent. They do the thing we say, they meet us and they are really cute. Mm. Uh, do children enjoy reading books? Do all children uh, enjoy reading books? To be that honest with you, Yes, it was before in our time that people, that the children used to read the comic books, but now the world has become virtual. Yeah, then now they are uh, listening to the rhymes, nursery rhymes, even with the phone and with technology. So I don't think that all the children like. What are the most popular types of children books in your country? Oh, there are many of there. Uh, some of them are the nursery books, the uh, books with the stories, uh, where um, where there are different morals and the animal printed book, the animated books are uh, really 
uh, really uh, popular in the children. Okay. So what are the benefits of parents reading the books for the children? Uh, as I said before, children mimic their parents. Uh, as parents uh, are reading the book, they would like to uh, read and mimic their parents. Uh, children do the thing that the parents do and uh, 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 parents is uh, the first teacher, so they have to guide their children doing the same they want them to do. That's all it. So do you think the parent, do you think parents should always let the children choose the books they read? Uh, well, it depends upon the situation. If the book is a good one that gives them information, yeah, it's their choice to read. Mm -hmm. But there are many different comics books that uh, students or children read instead of the school books and uh, administrative books. They uh, prefer the animated one uh, which may hamper them. But uh, in time or in laser time, yes, it is the beautiful thing to explore new and parents should allow them to. Mm, that's good. And now let's talk about uh, another topic. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, sir. So the next topic is electronic books. So do you sometimes read electronic books? Oh, uh, I have Because these days now. almost all people have access to the electronic devices. Yes. Do you read electronic books? Uh, in administrative view, I haven't read, but I have read many in, uh, other documentaries in mm -hmm. uh, in YouTube, and now I have seen that many books from nursery have been the, in an electronic or technical way. My recently, my brother in the kindergarten has um, got his electronic book, which seems very fascinating to mm -hmm. me. That's good. So, how popular? the electronics books are in your country? Uh, frankly speaking, Nepal is a developing country since uh, many things are uh, modernizing nowadays. Electronic book is uh, going on a trend, but in many rural areas it's not possible to get the electronic uh, books and uh, uh, Wi-Fi availability. But in many uh, main cities such as Bhutol, Kathmandu, Pokhara, the this trend is uh, being quite normal now. So, what are the benefits of you know reading electronic books? Uh, I think uh, children uh, do not uh, want to read or constantly look at the book, but the visualization they see, uh, they love them, and it's uh, many it remain in their mind for a longer time. Uh, so I think uh, for this purpose, uh, electronic book is the best method for now. Do you think the electronic books uh, will ever completely reflect the printed books in the future? Uh, looking at the present situation, uh, I think it would uh, go on a big extent, but not completely because there are many people who want to study the printed books also. Uh, for children, the electronic book might be a good option, but uh, for the scholars uh, and other people, they also prefer to read the printed ones. Okay, one last question. Okay, sir. So some people say that the quality of book cannot be judged by looking its cover. Do you agree or disagree? Yes, sir. I totally agree with this. Uh, many people seem uh, they are quite quite enough, or uh, they are not uh, able. But uh, we can uh, we cannot uh, judge them by only looking at their physical appearance or the on a taste, uh, because uh, everyone is uh, good or best in the various field. Uh, not every field is for everyone. They have their own field. They have their own strength. So. A um, person or a book should be judged in the basis of their own strength, uh, not in every, not judging them in every similar situation. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You, and this is the end of the test. So now I'd like to add some feedback, okay? Yes, uh, let me start with the first, uh, first part. Yes, uh, in the first part, you seem to be a bit nervous. I think nervousness to some extent, you know, blocked your mind. Yes. So uh, it was normal, like it was average, okay? Yes. However, you tried your best, it was good. And uh, in the second part, you initiated 
uh, with some kind of elaboration that was good and um, but one problem was there in part two that was uh, like you did not prepare the entire topic at once so it's very important for you to prepare the entire topic when you prepare your speech okay because time and again you looked at the question which actually does not sound or which actually does not look good because this is the speech session so uh, however you you know you tried to cover all the questions in your speech that was that was fantastic and uh, next thing in part 2 you did a great job in part 3 actually might be your nervousness disappeared slowly and gradually and you did great in part 3 okay so it's so nice you try your best and thank you very much Good. thank you sir